Clara. Mom and Dad have gone to a party again today, so me and my kitty Chummy are house sitting on the rose scented balcony. Excite fills the night air. What are you doing, sir? Uh, what? Whew, it's just you, Justin. I'm writing a letter. A letter? Man, he's like an internet predator or something. Hmm, sounds like a letter to a little girl. Except that no little girl ever writes like that, I'm sorry. You know, actually, it's kind of sweet of this guy to be writing to a little girl that doesn't have any friends. It's just the pretending to be a little girl part himself. That's where it gets weird. As you might have noticed, um, in this episode, I am going around and talking to some NPCs in addition to moving the plot along. I'll try not to do this too much as we go along, and I have edited out some of them. But some of them I just thought were kind of fun. So, you know, I, like I said, I'm one of those people who likes to talk to every single NPC I see. And another thing about this game, because of the way the 3D is, sometimes it's really hard to figure out where you're going. Once upon a time, there was an adventurer who traveled the world and picked up lots of treasure. But this kind-hearted man gave all his treasure to the poor. Everyone said he was a fool, but to this man, the only true treasure was the adventure itself. Duh, so cute. The man continued his adventures and lived a happy life ever after. The end. Actually, this sounds a lot like the Foolish Traveler story from Fruits Basket, if anybody out there has seen that. Although that was sort of a messed up story. <laughs> Once upon a time, an evil wizard cast a spell upon a prince and turned him to stone. The prince's fiancée, the princess of the next kingdom, became so sad that she cried from dawn till dusk. But oddly enough, the tears of the princess fell on the prince and broke the spell. You know, this is actually a lot like uh, the original version of Rapunzel. The uh, handsome prince who saved Rapunzel, well, he fell into a thorn bush to escape the evil witch and had his eyes scratched out and wandered the land for years as a blind beggar until he came across Rapunzel, who was a single mother living in a cottage, and she discovered him and her tears actually healed his blindness. No, I'm not kidding. That's really how the story of Rapunzel goes. Okay, back to the plot. Oddly enough, this is the correct answer. I wonder if they put this in here just so they'd have an excuse to use this animation of them walking around on their hands and knees. <laughs> uh, I know, it's a dumb joke, but... And here again, we have awkward translation. I can kind of figure out what they intended to say in the original Japanese, but I'm sorry, if you're gonna to translate to English, you really need to rewrite things so it makes more sense and doesn't sound so awkward. Sorry, rant over. Finally! Okay, now that we've found all four items, can we continue with the plot? Maybe?
I don't understand why this was part of their game. Why did they stack boxes on the bridge? What point is it sort? It's just an excuse for Justin to get blamed for everything because that's obviously the character they're trying to set up. He gets into mischief. <laughs> Surely you jest! I have to wonder how old Gantz is. Justin's 14, but this seems like a game that younger kids would be playing. So is Gantz an immature weirdo too? Or is he a younger kid that Justin's hanging out with because I don't know. And we're at Justin's house. And guess who we get to meet? His mom! Hey! Justin! Ouch! Mom! What did I do? How many times do I have to tell you? No dirty shoes in the kitchen! Even so, you don't have to hit me with your tray. Don't talk back to me. You know the rules of Seagull Restaurant. Always keep the kitchen clean. Come on, I have work to do. Out you go. She really is overpronouncing everything. My little troublemaker. You could at least help if you're going to be in the kitchen. Hello, Aunt Lily. If you keep whacking Justin's head, he's gonna get stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, Sue. Justin's you can tell. can't get any worse than it already is. Mom! <laughs> Sue I'm is her. just... How could you say such things about your only darling son? <laughs> Well, why don't you just be good, so I don't have to, me, hmm, Justin? I've been getting in trouble all day today. See, Sue there, it's like she's laughing because the line is so bad. It's also kind of funny, though, I know. And Lily's voice actress, now she does another major character in this game, so you can tell that she's trying to make the voice sound different for this character. I think that's one reason it sounds so awkward. But as I said before, none of these people are really the best voice actors ever. <laughs> the choices they give you. Oh boy. Why does Justin act like he's 10 all the time? And in some ways, he really does change as the story progresses. He gets a little bit more mature, but he's always a total goofball. And he's always a little immature anyway. So, I don't know. Maybe they had to start him off acting younger just so he could seem to progress. sudden images of Lily starting her own percussion se section. And what kind of drums do you play? Oh, my son's head. <laughs> 